It's hot. Tank, come here. Happy fall. We're sweating a lot. I get up when you get down to this Keep cool, but still get loud to this When it drops, just can't deny The mic turned off, but I'm amplified So if you wanna ride uh, Can you tell how much I'm sweating? Ugh So for our crust, three cups of flour Three quarters of a cup of sugar Half a teaspoon of salt Three sticks of butter I'm gonna start with my flour, which is already in my bowl Add in my sugar And my salt Give these a whisk together. Now I'm gonna grab my butter, all three sticks, and a bench scrape. We're gonna chop it into cubes and then add it into our dry mixture. Now you can just, you can either put all this into your mixer or you can just use your hands. Cut the butter into the dry mixture just by kind of taking the pieces and mashing them up between your fingers. Depending on how flaky you want your crust, you could do it more or less. If you do it more, it'll be like more mealy, like more, more of like an even crust. If you do it leaving bigger chunks, you're gonna end up with a flakier crust. Once it's all kind of able to get squished together, you set it aside and we have our crust. So for our filling, 10 sliced apples. Half a cup of light brown sugar. Six tablespoons of butter. One tablespoon of cinnamon. One cup of water. Okay, really excited to deal with heat right now for our apples. We're gonna cook them. I have a giant skillet. Mine has like sides, which is nice. Put it over medium high heat. Into it, I'm gonna melt my butter and throw in my brown sugar. Once it's all melted, throw in as many of your apples as you could fit into the pan, basically. The recipe says to do it half and half, but I don't have two big pans, so make it work. Cook these until they're nice and soft, about eight to 10 minutes, then throw in my spices. This is actually half cinnamon, half pumpkin pie spice because I ran out of cinnamon. I'm gonna add some cinnamon. If your apples seem a little bit dry and are sticking or anything, you can add some of our water. They probably won't because they're apples and they have juice in them. And now they're mowing the lawn. Now is a good time to add some water. Get that nice and steamy. Whoa. Okay, I gotta say that's good. Three quarters of a cup of chopped walnuts, one and a half cups of light brown sugar, three cups of oats, two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of baking soda, three sticks of cold cubed butter. So for this part, I am gonna use my mixer. So I'm gonna grab my mixing bowl and into it, I'm gonna put my flour, my brown sugar, my salt, my cinnamon, and my baking soda. Give these a quick whisk. Oh my God, I didn't film it. <laughs> All of my dries are in here. <laughs> then, I'm gonna add my butter. All my butter is in there. And I'm gonna use the paddle attachment to cut the butter into all these ingredients. Once it's cut in, add in my oats, I add, and my walnuts, and my nuts. And mix just to combine them evenly into the mixture, very briefly. And then we have our topping. Now we have all three of our components for our bars. So I'm gonna grab my pan. I'm gonna give it a spray. Then I'm gonna press my crust into the bottom. Wait. 
Next, we're gonna layer in our apples. Finally, crumble on our topping. And we have our bars. These are gonna go into a 350 degree oven until the top is starting to brown. And uh, I don't know how long, about an hour. Hope you can entertain yourself in the meantime. So when your bars come out, they will look like these. I am breaking out of my chest, that's cute. Nice and brown on top. And um, Yay! thanks a lot for baking with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next week. Hopefully, I might make biscuits because I'm obsessed with ear biscuits. Okay, bye.